Hi, um, this is a video that I've made uh, to help novices like me uh, to set up their Turnigy 9X with standard firmware to a quadcopter using the NASA MC and NASA GPS. Um, the first thing you have to do is correctly wire your receiver to the NASA MC. If it's not wired in this fashion, um, it, it won't work. So, channel 1 goes to aileron, channel 2 goes to elevator, channel 3 to throttle, channel 4 to rudder, channel 5 is not used, channel 6 goes to, ch to U, channel 7 goes to X1, and channel 8 goes to X2 on the NASA controller. Okay, um, I'm going to set my Turnigy 9 up, or I've already set it up, and I'm going to show you the settings um, that I use, and I set it up in heli mode. Up to now, I've been using acro mode, um, but failing dismally, I'm getting all the channels to switch as and where I want them, and uh, discovered that uh, I can do it in heli mode. So here we go. Right, we're going to system menu, uh, the mode select, I've called it Heli 2, uh, you can see all the other attempts I've, I've had at uh, programming it, but this one seems to work. Um, so you come down to type select, and we're going to select Heli, and Heli 1. So we, having selected that, we escape out of here, come down to uh, the modular, and we selected PPM, and the stick set, um, I've got a mode 2 uh, transmitter, um, so I've uh, selected mode 2 on the stick set. Um, it comes up and asks you if you want to reverse the throttle, no we don't, so we just escape out of there, and uh, come back to the settings menu. Uh, the first um, item in settings menu is the reverse settings. We need to reverse the, the pitch channel and also the auxiliary 2 channel. The throttle curve I haven't touched. The pitch curve I'll come back to because we need to set up the auxiliary channels first. Sub trim endpoints um, you may need to set the auxiliary channels up first then come back to your endpoints but uh, I'll go through them with you now uh, as you see on uh, both sides of the pitch I've increased it to 120 percent and the same with the auxiliary channel that, uh, that also is at 120 percent Don't use throttle hold into the auxiliary channels. I set these up as channel 5 gear, channel 6 is not used, channel 7 is the pitch trim, and channel 8 is the hover pitch. I now come back to the pitch curve, and in position 1 of my 3 position switch on the uh, Turnigy, um, I discovered that 12.5% uh, sat me nicely in the middle of the GPS blue on the NASA assistant. You may have to play around with these um, these uh, percentages uh, because I believe they, they're different for every transmitter. Um, but 12.5% start there, you may have to go up to 20 or down to 5. Um, the next setting is the middle setting, uh, which I've set um, as my attitude mode. Uh, so in my case it's 46%. And in my lowest setting, um, which is currently on manual, it's around about the 80%. Um, before flying, I would um, actually set this in the fail-safe mode, which I believe is, uh, from memory, about 67% on my transmitter. Um, Sub-trim endpoints, um, I've already discussed. Throttle hold we don't use. Um, dual rates and exposure I don't use, the trim, all these can be left as standard, Revo, fail safe, I rely on the NASA's fail safe, uh, hover throttle is inhibited, 
I'll just show you. Um, likewise, the hover pitch is inhibited. Uh, the trainer, the, the display mode. Um, you can see how the um, all the sticks move in the right places, and if it's connected, the gear trim, and uh, you can see that the um, auxiliary trim is related to the gear trim as well. Uh, timer, gyro settings, program. Okay, uh, I only use one program mix, and that is to activate it. Um, set the master to gear, set the slave to auxiliary 2 and the uh, three following settings, again you may have to play with these um, put me in the position of GPS attitude and um, manual mode or, or uh, fail safe and you leave the switch on so by playing around with these and the pitch curve you should be able to set it up um, fairly, uh, fairly easily Okay, uh, well that's all my transmitter settings. Um, I'll now go and connect it to uh, the uh, quadcopter um, and put that up on a computer screen to show you how the switches uh, work in reality, uh, especially the IOC because that's um, because I've only got uh, one three-position switch. I've already used that. I use a combination of the two-position gear switch and the hover pit knob on the top left hand. Uh, Okay, I'm now connected to the NASRA system. Um, I've done all my calibrations, my firmware update, and calibrated my sticks. Um, the no, I'm sorry about the quality of the picture, but the top left knob um, on my um, transmitter controls the X2 button, and the One on the front, on the left hand side, uh, controls the X1. My three position switch is GPS in the top position, attitude in the middle, and manual in the bottom position. As I say, I adjust that back to uh, fail safe uh, when I'm about to fly. Okay, we're going to um, the autopilot. The X1 switch, which is the one on the left front, uh, remotely adjusts the gains. You uh, just click on the um, switch below and set it to X1. You can do two out of three, individually one or none at all. Okay, the um, Okay, my gear switch, um, when in the forward position, is in the off position. I then flick it back and it goes to control lock. And then my top left knob, I turn and that takes it to home lock. Um, turn it back anti-clockwise, it comes back to uh, course lock and then flick it off and it turns it off. I hope this has been helpful to you. If there's any comments or better ways of setting up this, please, please let me know. Um, you know, we're all here to learn, and I hope this has helped you in some small way. Thank you for watching.